Well, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. You join me back on the syndicate again. I got here last night quite late. Uh, it's dark when I got here, I come straight from work. So uh, yeah, this is the first bit of film for this vlog. Bonus, just had a fish. Oh, haven't quite haven't weighed it yet, but it's one of the nice mirrors from in here. Beautiful fish, screaming run this morning. I just woke up, put the kettle on, and the rod just ripped off. So yeah, well chuffed for that. Uh, second fish out of my syndicate this year. Uh, I think I've had this one before, to be honest. Good up to 20. So yeah, let's get it wide. Oh. Side. So you had this on a on a Ronnie rig with a, just a chopped down critically balanced uh, white stem from hell pop up. Oh. A better particle and uh, some crushed bait works uh, monster red. Lovely job. Let's get it back. So, excellent start to the session. Um, nice 26 pound tan mirror. Um, I don't think I've had that fish out of here before, so uh, yeah, that's a bonus. Uh, it's also a bonus to get fish for the camera as well. Uh, something you don't often see on my vlogs. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll see a few more now back on my syndicate again. Uh, I'm gonna put quite a bit more time in here now. So uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be a few more. Um, so yeah, we'll just have these sausages in a roll and uh, have a nice cup of coffee. And then what I'll do is I'll just go through the rig, show you the rig that I've been using, just a basic Ronnie rig. Um, and I'll also show you the bait I've been using, the hook bait, how I've been setting the rig up and uh, the spot mix I've been putting out as well. So uh, just going to enjoy these sausages in a roll and a nice cup of coffee in there and I'll get back to you.
So I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, spod mix that I'm using on this session. Um, it's nothing out of the ordinary really. Uh, there's only three items in there. Um, it's just a bit of hemp and maize going in there. Um, this was cooked by Harley yesterday, nice and fresh. Um, if you want any particles, uh, I'll put the link in the description to his uh, Instagram page and his Facebook page, as Hunter's Particles. Um, it's all cooked fresh and cooked to order, so uh, yeah. Um, and also, if you live in Derby, it'll deliver it free to your door as well. So uh, if you want any particle, just give, just give him a look, Hunter's Particles. Um, I'm also putting in there, um, I've actually just changed my bait. I've used the same boilie for a few years now, but I thought I'd give uh, Baitworks a try. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anyone. All this bait I'm paying for myself, so uh, I'm not plugging anything. But yeah, I thought I'd give the, the Baitworks Monster Red a go. Um, there's a few people on here on the Baitworks. So uh, yeah, anything to do with Simon Scott and Mark Bryant, I think is gonna be a good bait. So uh, yeah, so I just put a few uh, few boilies in the, in the crusher and I just crush them down really, just to a powder really. Just a few of them in there. That just gives it a little bit of colour and uh, a little bit of smell as well. So uh, and a little bit something a little bit different from the, just the maize and hemp. So just give it a good mix around. Um, I don't use any oil in it. I think there's enough natural oil in the hemp uh, and then in the maize as well. Um, especially this time of year. Now the water's getting colder. You don't really want to be putting too much oil in. Uh, hemp oil is okay, but um, any fish oil, salmon oil, or anything like that, it just congeals in this sort of water temperature. So uh, yeah, I don't bother putting any oil in there now. So. You still get a good slick off this. I mean, the hemp's hemp's well cooked, so you, there's a lot of oil in that. So, um, and then what I just do is just put a few more boilies in the crusher, but I'm not going to crush these down too uh, too fine. These ones, so I just put a few bigger lumps in there. Um, we've found that the uh, the coots on here don't really like particle, um, so I try not to put too many boilies or anything like that, or too many big particles of boilies in there. So. So yeah, that's it. Just a bit of hemp and maize uh, and some Baitworks Monster Red in there. So uh, it worked last night and this morning for that fish I had the first thing this morning. So um, yeah, let's get this back out on the spot again. So that's all three rods back out on the spots again. Uh, they all went out first time, which I'm chuffed about. And yeah, putting uh, plenty of bait over the top of them rods again, especially the, the uh, middle rod and the right hand rod. Uh, yeah, we've been baiting that spot quite heavily, me and Harley, so uh, yeah, we want to try and keep the bait going in on that spot and see if we can hold them there for the winter. Um, we've had fish off there in the winter part, uh, in the past, so uh, yeah, that's. Uh, quite a good patrol route I think just off that drop off it drops from about 5 foot right down to about 13 foot and then it just slowly levels off to about 18 foot so uh, I pulled the rods in earlier went for a bit of a walk round um, yeah the swims we were fishing last time we were here is uh, they're, they're still underwater so they're totally unfishable but luckily enough we, I can hit that spot that I was fishing before from here so uh, which is a good thing because I know there's no, going to be nobody coming into the left of me so uh, or on that bank anyway. So yeah, the rigs I've been using, so basically on the left hand rod, um, I've been using just the combi rig. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence in the combi rig. It's nice and clear over there, so uh, yeah, I've just got a little 13mm uh, uh, sent from hell wafter on that. That's one of the 13mm barrel wafters. And I've got a uh, mesh bag of uh, Monster Red ball is just really crushed down to a fine powder on that um, so yeah that's about 15 wraps over towards that bank over there on the middle rod and the right hand rod 
Uh, they're about 19 wraps out from here. And on them I've just got the Ronnie Riggs. Um, I've tied them with the 30 pound end trap semi stiff, about a 5 inch boom on that. And I like to leave a, a bit of a loop at the end where the Ronnie Rig sits, just to, just to give that a nice bit of movement. Um, I think if you tie them straight onto the to the ring, sometimes the ring could get snagged up, or it won't turn properly, and it could kick the kick the hook off a little bit. Funny, so uh, I like a bit of movement on that. And I've got a size six Deception Anglin DX curve on there. Um, I'm not sponsored by Deception Anglin. I actually pay for them myself again, so uh, I'm not plugging them. Just a hook I've used for. A, a couple of years now and I've had a, a few good fish on them hooks so I'm, I'm pretty confident in them and they seem to sit nice and aggressive as well on the on the Ronnie rig so and on that I've just got a uh, rings little micro wing swivel with a obviously a, a stop on there and a white sent from hell pop-up which is just uh, whittled down just to critically balance that um, again, I think a full size 14mm pop up on them small hooks, even though they're a size 6, they're, they're quite a small hook. And I think a full size pop up on there no, not only masks the hook, but it just looks too blatant to the fish. So, uh, yeah, I've whittled that down, uh, tested it in the margin. Yeah, and it sits quite nice. So, uh, and that's what I had the fish on this morning. So the wind's changed now, I say it's changed now, it was blowing a northwesterly earlier, or a westerly first thing this morning, then it changed to a northwesterly, now it's changed to a northerly, so uh, and it's quite cold. So hopefully the fish haven't moved onto that wind, I don't think they will. I think they'll hold back and sit, sit back here again off the back of that wind. And they'll just sit along that shelf there, that, that, that drop off, they like, they like it along there, so I think they'll just move up and down there. And hopefully they'll get on the bait. Uh, Harley's not with me on this session, uh, he's got work again this week, so I'm here on my own. But yeah, hopefully this wind, this rain stops because uh, we've had loads of rain over the last few weeks and that's really give this lake a battering to be honest. And I've got the Trent about 30 foot behind me and that is really flowing through there at the moment. I went over there earlier to get some footage but I couldn't actually get to it because the water was just too deep. So yeah, um, it was touch and go whether I was going to come last night, to be honest, because uh, because the trend is so high up, I didn't want to get here and then uh, get my bivvy and everything set up and it, it come over, because I'm basically sat right next to it. It's about 30 foot behind me, so... Uh, and it's been known before, people have been here and the trend's come over and they've woke up in the morning and the bivvies are just full of water, so... But I checked the flood warnings, there was no flood warning last night, and I think now the, 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 the rain's going to ease off now, so I, I think we'll be all right. So yeah, I got here last night, like I said. Um, I'm here again tonight. I'm gonna probably leave about 11 o'clock in the morning. I think it's due to rain again about 12, so I'll try and get away before everything gets soaked again. Um, I didn't bring my barrow this time. I came around on the little tractor and trailer and that got stuck on my way around last night. So I should imagine that's gonna be a pain in the ass getting back in the, tomorrow, so that'll be fun. But yeah, it's about just gone 10 past four now, so I'm now going to make myself something to eat. I've got myself a nice chilli tonight, which I'll cook myself. And uh, yeah, probably watch something on YouTube or something. So if I don't have a fish in the night or a fish from now on till in the morning, um, I'll get back to you in the morning. So uh, yeah, let's hope we'll have another fish.
Well, the morning. Very quiet night. Not even a bleep last night, which I was very surprised about. I was really confident on getting another fish last night, but... Yeah, it's about seven o'clock now. It's quite foggy, as you can see. But it's now starting to clear up, so uh, it's not too bad. But yeah, the water's risen. I think the lake's come up about six inches overnight. So obviously the trench burst its banks again. So yeah, it's took a bit of a batter in this lake over the last month or so. I don't think the cold water coming in from the river is really doing the fishing a lot of good, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I'm going to sit it out till about 11. I'm supposed to start raining again about 12, 11 or 12. So uh, yeah, hopefully going to get my gear packed away by about 11 o'clock. But yeah, I'm just going to make myself a brew. I've got the Coleman on in the bivvy at the minute, keeping me warm. So I'm just going to make myself a brew. And then we'll go from there. Well, I think I might be in a bit of trouble here. As you can see, the water's now coming in from the rent, uh, from the trent, so uh, yeah, I've got to get the tractor and trailer around here to uh, get my gear out. And it was a bit of a nightmare trying to get it around here, to be honest, and it was nowhere near as bad as this, so yeah, this is going to be fun. So as you can see, look, all the water's coming through now. Like I said earlier, the lake's risen about six inches in the night and I think it's going to keep coming up now, so... So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start packing up. See if I can get, get back to the car. But yeah, it's just, just a quagmire, just a total bog. And this is the bit here, getting round on that mud. Because that grass cut is there, otherwise I could have gone on this nice firm bit of ground here, so... So yeah, I don't know if you can see up there, even the swans are trying to get out now. Let's focus in on that. Let's see, even the swans are trying to get out, so... But that's what happened when you uh, fish a lake that's right next to the Trent, I suppose. So yeah, time to start packing up, I think. It's about, about half past nine now, I think, so uh, yeah, there's not, not any sign of rain yet. But... Beautiful morning again. I think this is half the reason why we do it, to be honest. So yeah, time to pack up. So that's it now, end of the session. Uh, managed to get the tractor around here. Managed to get all my gear on it, but yeah, whether I'll get it back is easy, I don't know, because there's quite a lot of weight on there at the minute, so... Uh, but yeah, I've really enjoyed the session. Uh, it was nice to have that fish for the camera, nice 26 pound tan mirror. Uh, it's a shame I didn't have any more, I was really confident last night that I was going to have a few more. Um, but it didn't quite pan out, so uh, yeah, I can't complain. Still had a nice fish, so... Uh, I put a bit more bait out on that spot just a little while ago, I've just emptied half a bucket on the spot, so... Uh, I'm going to try and keep that spot going, me and Harley. Um, Trent's now starting to rise quite a bit. The lake's risen about three or four inches overnight. So, uh, yeah, I think it's time to go now. It's now going to start raining as well. I think it's come over quite overcast. So, I think it's now going to start raining. So, uh, uh, channel's doing really well. I'd just like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. Uh, I've got over a thousand subscribers now. Um, managing to upload a few videos now, which I'm getting quite happy with. So, uh, thanks for sticking with it. Uh, and also, if you're new to my vlogs and new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and perhaps have a look back at my uh, previous vlogs. And uh, yeah, don't forget also to uh, check out our Facebook page, which is A Carpy Connection. And we've got an Instagram page going now, which is A Carpy Connection. Uh, me and Harley are uploading some uh, some nice Carpy photographs. So 
Also, if you upload any nice Carpi photographs, uh, don't forget to hashtag uh, ACarpi Connection and they'll show up on our feed. Uh, so yeah, all it remains now to do is get this uh, get this tractor back to the car, get all my gear loaded up and get home. So uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy this vlog. Uh, I look forward to doing the next one, which will probably be next week sometime. So uh, until then, be lucky.